We already talked map changes in Season 8. Now it's time to talk about how the top players are currently utilizing the loot pool in Cash Cups and eventually FNCS. Let's start by talking about the new Sideways weapons. Inside of the Sideways anomalies, the Sideways rifle and minigun can be found. These new variants of the rifle and minigun pack a huge punch when used correctly. We haven't really seen the sideways rifle used too much in competitive due to its difficulty to obtain, so most players are seeming to prefer the regular assault rifle or the burst, but the minigun is a different story. Now it's still difficult to obtain given it comes from the sideways, however the damage output has shown itself to be worth it. So far the main ways it's being used is to pressure players on your lair in endgame to clear the lair out. This works particularly well by firing it at players who aren't looking in your direction so you can eliminate them before they can even react to it. This mainly works in endgame as players are usually not full shield or HP. Of course, it's a great deterrent for any players to stay away from your tarp given the incredible rate of fire allowing for easy eliminations when players get too close in your box. That rate of fire also makes it really difficult for players to hold their floors when being shot by it, basically meaning that a single player can act like a double or triple spray and knock players out of their tarps for easy eliminations. So far the sideways minigun has been underutilized in my opinion, but I highly expect as the weeks go on to see more and more players using it. The shotgun meta this season for competitive has been changed up a little bit, or should I say charged up. That's right, the charged shotgun is back, baby, and that means you're likely to hear plenty of hissing, as it's not uncommon for at least one member of TRIO to opt into this weapon, like Tragix, who has won three of the most recent TRIO tournaments. The charge can be side into from either one of the old reliable pumps or the lever shotguns, which are now readily accessible as floor loot and out of chests. This means that the high volume attack of the tactical shotgun has made its way into the vault slightly altering what we can expect to see in competitive shotgun fights. Most of the time, expect players to default back to carrying the best pump shotgun they can find. However, with the tack gun, the best shotgun for jumping into boxes when it comes to a rate of fire is the lever, so it could still see some play when it comes to box to box fighting. So, where does the charge fit in all of this? Well, either on low ground control, hanging out at the back of their own box and trying to sneak fully charged shots on unsuspecting ankles from one to two grid spaces away, or up on the high ground as a great way to punish both players who peek out a few layers below, or defend your teammates from potential retakes via launch pads and the re-added shadow forms. Last big change is the consumables. Last season, we saw chuck cannons left and right. This season though, that changes as the chug cannon has been vaulted from llamas. Don't worry though, because there are new items taking its place in AKA the chili chug splashes. These new chili chug splashes act similar to a chug splash, which have also returned to the game in chest and floor spawn locations, but provide a nice boost in movement speed. We see them use less than standard chug splashes, the main factor likely being that they're just more widely available. While they are great to carry throughout the game, they are most effective in the end game. So, they can be used to rotate in the third through fifth zones as well. For example, in the first trio cash cup of the season, Queasy pulls an unfavorable sixth zone. They had already claimed low ground, so they had to go through a ton of old builds. They get into a tough spot and they all get damaged. They use the chili chug splashes to heal up, out heal the active storm surge, and then utilize the advanced movement speed to tank zone at the edge of the front side of low ground. Eventually, this wins them the game from that position. Another consumable added this season are the Shadow Stones and Cube Floppers. These work the exact same way, but have two different ways to acquire them. The Shadow Stones can be found in the crash site areas across the map and can't be held. The Cube Flopper, however, can be held, but is only found out of fishing spots. They both put you in a ghost state and give you increased mobility and a phase mechanic. We saw Kami FN getting a Shadow Stone, hitting a pad, him flying up in the air, phasing while up in the air to stay in high ground, then jumping out of the shadow effect to eliminate two players in our recent warm-up event. This is just one of many ways these incredible additions can be used. With all these changes, which items are you most excited to see in competitive play? We're looking forward to seeing these new changes in action, but until then, we'll see you on the Battle Bus. Beep, beep. <laughs>